Hello there guys and girls, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in a little lily princess. The This is a visual novel game developed by Hanako Games and Hanabira and this was published by Rattalike Games and is available usually for a slightly hefty uh, £11.99 slash $14.99 so it is on the... Uh, more annoying spectrum of price-wise. Now this isn't your usual visual novel and it does seem like it can get a touch confusing on what to do first. So this isn't a complete full walkthrough, rather it's a guide to show you what to do to get the full 1000 with the first girl. So, there are six girls and we need to basically play the game right through with the same girl. So the first one I'll play with... Uh, wait, that sounds completely wrong. So the first one we are going to do... Uh, Screw it, is Jesse. <laughs> Please don't think of me any differently. Um, but the second one being whoever, the third, etc. Just as long as you complete the playthrough, the same playthrough with the same girl. But all achievements are tied in and related to completing Act 1 with each girl and completing the game with each girl. Plus there's one for maxing all resources, which you should get naturally, but I'll show you anyway. So... With that being said, then, let us begin. Now, the first thing we're going to do is head down to Preferences. Make sure to enable Skip All Text and keep skipping on the, le on the uh, left hand side on Skip Mode. And then put the Text Speed, Autoplay Speed and the Activity Speed all up to fast and as fast as you can. Of course, we do want to be getting through the game as quick as we can. Don't worry about the volume controls. It's mainly just Skip All Text, keep skipping and the game speed, put it all to fast. Now, we can start the game. And like I said, so this can be potentially confusing at first. Press the right bumper or the R1 on the PlayStation to skip. Now, what happens is, uh, if we press OK here, basically these are the icons that we need to do. Now, what I would advise to do first is do a different activity for each day. So Monday, read a book. Tuesday, do the second one. Wednesday, do the third one, etc. And then go down to done. But the one thing that can be slightly annoying is the resource list on the left. They can just pop up with random numbers, but it's not too bad. So, here we go then. You see the six girls? What we're going to do then is play the event with Jesse, the top left. And like I said, all we're going to be doing is playing the same event with Jesse for the complete playthrough. So, as you can see now, we've got a bit of knowledge. We've got a bit of everything up there. So, we're just going to press done once again. And then, as you can see, so the next event that we want to play with is Jessie. She needs more sympathy and more belief. So go down to skip this weekend and select no event. Because, of course, we don't want to be uh, playing with any other girl. Ugh, sorry. And, obviously, we only want to play the event with Jessie. So what you need to do is, where it says icon help, uh, just to the left of the done button, that's where you can see what you need. Um... So if you click on like on help, it'll tell you what you need. So we need sympathy and we need belief. So now what it's worth doing is just picking um, whatever activities are that has the more sympathy and more belief. If you, you know, know what I mean. So, so that basically gives Jesse all the sympathy and all the belief. And then now we can play the event with Jesse. So that is basically just what happens in the game. So you go through... And then if she needs, if, if a girl needs more something, you just go on to this and you pick the, pick the activities, look at the icon help if you need it, and then just pick the activities that are needed. So again, we are going to need um, five bits of, man, I'm going blind. I can't see what we need. But again, so that's, that's all you've got to do. That is literally all there is to it. And again, we'll be doing the exact same playthrough for the six girls. Um, but if you do play an event with Jesse, it's always worth just going back to the five different random activities on each day. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Thank you very much. So, again, if it, it doesn't matter if you need it again. We just keep skipping to no event. And then just keep pressing done again. And then eventually we can, uh, we're able to play the event with Jesse. So, and that's basically it then. So, if you can't play an event with the girl that you're needing... Just um, go to go to skip event, go to no event, and then it'll just keep sort of doing that, keep bouncing on that. So again, the, the numbers will be random for you, but that is literally all there is to it then. So again, 
If you've managed to play an event, again, just do completely different activities. But if, as you can see here, that we need a specific something, then um, obviously just go, again, go to Icon Help if you need to uh, know what icons are which. And then just make sure to do that until we are able to play the event. Um, now, the first act goes up to week 25. You can see what it says week 11 in the top left-hand corner right there. Um, yeah, the f so the first act will go up to week 24 or 25. And then the second act basically goes up to week um, 38. Now, as you could just see there, it said week 22 on Jesse. Now, what that means is we can't actually do anything until week 22. So we can just keep skipping no event until we get to week 22 and we're able to play the event with Jesse. So there we go. That should be it now, week 23. So we've done all of Jesse's events in Act 1. But of course, we still need to keep playing as Jesse throughout the entirety of the game. But we get like a new board of stuff to do or like a couple of extra bits. Really doesn't matter though um, what we're doing at the minute. So just keep on doing what we're doing. Uh, we can just keep skipping to no events. So if somebody's act is complete, then you can just keep skipping to no event until we actually get to act. Uh, the second act. Which should be coming up. And you can always tell when we get to act two because we basically get now a new uh, bunch of additional chores to do. So again, we'll be doing the same thing. So just keep one activity for uh, each day. And then, like I said, we're just going to keep playing the event as Jessie to get her achievement. And it'll just be the same thing then. So if she needs, like I said, as you can see here, now she needs a bit of pride. Pride month, baby! But, again, go down to Icon Help. You can see which one the pride kind of looks like a, uh, a medal of some sort. Or the Golden Cross. So just pick the ones that we can gain the medals. That should give us enough... Um, to be able to carry on. Sorry, I completely <laughs> forgot my words then. So that is literally all there is to it then. So we'll be playing the event as much as we can. If you need something, uh, just go and uh, pick the specific activity which will upgrade your um, whatever it is that you need, whether it's pride or hunger or, you know, sympathy or whatever. And then we, uh, otherwise you can just keep um, putting different activities on different days. So we are slightly coming up to the end now, but I literally just wanted to show you this uh, basically full playthrough of the first girl. And you're literally just going to be doing the same thing for the rest of the five girls. So just obviously be careful that you don't accidentally go, uh, go, go a little bit further. Uh, so you miss somebody's act one. But again, it's it, I mean, this game should only take about 30, 40 minutes as a whole anyway. Huh, as a whole. <laughs> uh, we just keep doing that then. So, yeah, that, that is that. I will also be showing you how to max out the resources again. Uh, the, the resources are obviously on the left-hand side. Again, it's one that you can get just naturally if you just keep playing the game. But it's a case of if you haven't or if you want to get it out of the way, then I will show you in just a moment. But we're just going to keep playing the event with Jesse. Uh, but again, like I said, that, that is all the achievements are re uh, related to. is basically playing six playthroughs with just one girl. So we'll have Jessie first, then we'll have the next one to the right of her, the next one to the right, etc, etc. So, and this is basically the end of the first playthrough then. So just pick a couple of things again. Really doesn't matter what, because we are done. We are coming up now to the end of Lagamo, or the first playthrough now. Job done, there we go. So, happy days. We've done, you should always get two achievements tied to the one girl that you've just done in a playthrough, if that makes sense. So now we can just start the game again, skip it again. Yep, okay, and then obviously we sort of have an idea now of what to do. So for the first bit, just put all different activities on uh, different days, so we gain a bit of everything. Uh, press okay. And already then we can play the event as Lottie. That's who we're going to do next. So we can just skip to no event because Lottie already needs some belief which is not good. Have some belief in yourself Lottie. Get some belief damn it.
But anyway, that is what you can do is just, just skip no event. Of course, you can just completely ignore Jessie now because we've done with her. We need to go specifically with Lottie. So if, again, somebody needs a little something or whatever, you can always just press the play event. Or the skip the no event and then get that. So here's what we do then. As you can see, the knowledge on the left-hand side or the um, things on the left-hand side are almost maxed out. So now I'm literally just picking the specific one with what I need, which is belief and I think sympathy it was there. Uh, so just keep uh, skipping to no event. Because uh, obviously, as you can see there, we've done Lotties. And there, as long as it says there, uh, everything's maxed out. So we can just continue. Just uh, click that and this is where the achievement will unlock for maxing out all resources so that is how you do that then guys and gals i hope i've given you a bit of an idea of actually how to play the game now of course you just got to do it with the uh, rest of the five girls and that should be that that was the only one missable achievement as well even though again it's probably unmissable because you can get it naturally but Thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope this video has helped. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend if it did help. Uh, check me out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon as well. I would highly appreciate that. Speaking of, a big, massive shout-out to everyone on Patreon who continues to support the channel. Absolutely love you guys. And that is that then, guys and gals. So, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And big love to you all, baby.